Hi, my name is Josh Walker. I'm the Unitary Large and Applied Engineering Manager here at Aon. Uh, we're going to go through the differences between a 14A unit and a 454B unit today. The first key difference is the a 12 mitigation board. We have uh, airstream sensors and then control cabinet and gas heat sensors if the unit's equipped with gas heat. What that does is in the event of a uh, A12 refrigerant leak, we would kill the gas heat exchanger if it's in the control cabinet area or gas heat area, or if it's in the airstream, we would initiate a purge sequence that would uh, protect the unit and the building from any potential ignition. We also have a new updated control system that works with the 454B and the mitigation uh, detection board. And then all of the electrical components have been updated to make sure that there's no ignition sources as well. As far as pressure, the 454B refrigerant and the 14A refrigerant are basically the same operating pressures. 454B is a slightly lower pressure than 14A, but basically all the copper systems and coils remain the same between the two refrigerants. So one of the key challenges to being first to market with A2O refrigerants or 454B is just working with all the different vendors uh, and developing these new technologies. This specific unit has a polymer coated evaporator coil. Customer would choose something like that because of like the application, maybe they have a pool unit, maybe it's along the coast, close to salt water. It's just an extra step to take to prevent corrosion in the unit. We, we fully expect this unit to be completed within the next day or so and ship out to the customer this week. We've got these units uh, rolling off the production line as we speak.